What if you had to hold your breath to save your life? How long would you last? Let's find out in three, two, one, go. I'm Rebecca Lydiard. Oh my God! I play Constable Adelaide Stratton on the television series Houdini and Doyle. Join me as we explore Houdini and Doyle's world of wonders. The amazing performer that just dunked into the tank behind me is escape artist and magician Lawrence LaRouche. He's risking his life today to demonstrate one of Harry Houdini's most dramatic escapes, the Chinese water torture cell. Now, our onstage audience is holding their breath alongside Lawrence. How about you? How are you doing? Houdini performed many death-defying escapes, hundreds, in fact, throughout his career. And what set him apart was his fearlessness and physical endurance, which included holding his breath for long periods of time. Okay, we are at 45 seconds. Now, Houdini would often perform his escapes concealed by a curtain. This was so he could hide his escape methods. Another one of his very popular stunts was the milk can stunt, where he'd submerge himself into a cramped milk can filled to overflowing with water or milk or apparently even beer. Can we check on Lawrence's progress, please? Okay, so we are at one minute, 20 seconds, and we are losing people in our onstage audience. How about you? How are you doing? Let's not forget here that Houdini would practice rigorously for these kind of stunts. He even had a sunken tub installed into his home in New York City so he could practice submerging himself in frigid waters for longer and longer periods of time. His wife Bess sitting by timing him with a stopwatch. His best time was just under four minutes. Speaking of which, we are at one minute, 50 seconds. Looks like we've lost everyone in our onstage audience. Houdini was obviously a very talented lockpick, and yet people still seemed to think he had some kind of supernatural ability and could physically dematerialize to make his escapes. Some people like Arthur Conan Doyle himself. Okay, we're at two minutes and 15 seconds. Can we lower the curtain, please? Okay, it looks like Lawrence is having a little bit of difficulty with one of his ankle shackles. Obviously, we have taken some security measures. We've got our stagehand who is prepared to break the glass should an emergency arise. Okay, it looks like Lawrence has lost his lockpick. incredible. How do you feel? Feels good to breathe again. Yeah, tell me about it. Lawrence, thank you so much for showing us how it was done. 